Hey guys, I'm starting a day in the life vlog today. Um, it's been a really stressful week for everyone, including myself. I know you guys are going through it and so am I. Um, it's literally like three o'clock right now, but I figured I would start the vlog now. I'm gonna have something to eat because I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten all day. It's just been really stressful this morning. At the base of the smoothie bowl, you're gonna need a banana, some type of fruits like berries or you could use an acai packet and then use a little bit of coconut water or milk or regular water to just help it be a little bit more liquefied so we're just gonna first add this I'm gonna add the banana to the blender I usually like to use like sweeter bananas but this is the only one I have um, we just got some today and they're just not that ripe yet so I'm gonna use this one All right, so we're gonna add some berries. I feel like the more you add, the more it makes. Johnny, you want a smoothie bowl? All right, I'm gonna make two. The more you've put in the blender, the better it blends for some reason with this blender. So we're gonna do two of them. If I need more, I will add more, but I'm gonna leave it there for now. Don't mind my nail, it came off. They were so cute though. Look how cute, look how cute. Okay. Oh, it's done. Okay. So we're gonna blend it. We use this, I use a smoothie setting on my blender, but if you don't have that setting, then you do like 50, you just blend it until it's a smoothie. I'm gonna pause it and bring this out a little bit. So I could use my baton. So my blender does come with this stick that you can use to help it blend better. So you just stick it in the hole. I'm sticking it in the hole and I'm gonna push it in like you see it right here. Okay, let me bring this up a little bit. And I'm gonna do this again. And this is what it looks like once you blend everything together. It should have this consistency, not liquid at all, but it's like a paste. So now for the fun part, the toppings, you can add fruits. So I like to add blueberries, strawberries, sometimes mango, whatever fruit I have, I add to the top of the smoothie. I also add some granola. So right now we have this one from Love Crunch. Um, this one tastes really good if you're into like chocolate and stuff like that. I always love coconut, so I tend to get ones that have coconut in there. And then I got this one from one of the health food stores that I go to, and it's a toasted co coconut granola. Also, you can also add cacao nibs. Um, this is dark chocolate. Also, I also have coconut, which I love, like I said. I also add nuts, so I have some walnuts, and then I have some almonds. So these are the kind of things that I like to put on top. I'm just gonna cut these up. Add some to this bowl. So we're gonna do granola. Like half a cup of the granola. This much of that one. And then I'm going to add the strawberries. Blueberries. This is an easy way to get your daily dose of antioxidants. In case you were wondering. <laughs> I always add coconut, like I said, I love coconut. This is unsweetened coconut, but it tastes really good. I'm gonna just pour it on a little bit. You can measure this out, but um, yeah, pour it out. I just do like a tablespoon pour. I just poured like a tablespoon on there. So I'm gonna put some walnuts on. This is the first one that I made. 
oh my gosh, I just dropped that first one. And this is the second one. This one is gonna be mine. I'm gonna actually add a little bit of honey. Uh, this is optional, but it just gives it a nice little kick of sweetness. And we're done. <clears throat> hey guys, so I just got done eating my smoothie bowl. It tasted amazing. And I wanted to show you guys um, the sunglasses that I got from Key. They're the Lizzo and Key release. So I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. They look really good, just so you know. This is the case. I do feel like the case could have been better, like more sturdy because it is like plastic and it's really easy to bend. It's also kind of like cheap almost. But yeah, this is the case. But the glasses though, girl, these glasses look so good. So these is, this is the style that I got. So they already carry this style, but Lizzo came out with two or three new versions of this style. This is one of the versions that she came out with, and it's a tortoise um, fade. So it fades from dark, you can see, to light, and it has like tortoise um, prints on it. So I really love it. It fits so well. It fits really nicely. This is what it looks like. Johnny, you like these? Yeah. <laughs> Lizzo came out with these. You heard? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, but I do love these because when you wear them on your head, you don't get that. Um, they don't like pull your hair out with aviators. Since aviators do have those little metal things in the middle they tend to pull out my hair when i take them off and on at the top of my head all right y'all so i'm about to open up this package this one is from apl i believe i did get another one from amazon but i want to do an amazon haul because i got enough things to do a haul just for amazon so i got a pair of these athletic pro Pulsion labs like training sneakers so Oh my gosh, so this is the one that I picked out. Hello. I had to eat the pancake <laughs> first because the baking was So hot. they look really good, you guys. They okay. feel That's really good. nice That's as good. well, very comfortable. All right, so I'm actually gonna cook some chicken right now that I got at Trader Joe's yesterday. It's the orange chicken. Um, doing that, I want to show you guys another thing that I also got this. Um, let me show you guys. So I've been seeing these everywhere and I decided to get a pair. These are just um, the Curve Love line from Abercrombie and they were just shorts. So I'm gonna try these on and see if they fit. I got the size 31, which is uh, 31, 12. I feel like they fit really good. This is what they fit like. So these shorts feel very comfortable. I like that they're not super short. There's a good amount of like um, material right here. And they feel so comfortable. They also are pretty stretchy and very supportive at the same time. And I love that there's no gap. Like you can see there's literally no gap in the back right here. That's amazing. So yeah, I definitely will be ordering some more of these. They feel really good. Hopefully they can go on sale soon because anyways, Johnny just went on a run outside and I'm just going through my youtube video ideas and also like content in general as to what i want to film and post um for the next month because i feel like i feel like this month has kind of shifted a little bit in terms of what i wanted to post but um yeah gotta go through some of my orders and make sure that everything is shipped or um, processed that way i can know when things are going to arrive for my future videos because like I said, I did order some things for a um, video. It's going to be like a um, black owned self-care slash makeup haul. Because I typically, I have ordered a lot of makeup from black owned brands like Fenty, Pat McGrath, Mented, um, Colored Rain, um, the lip bar. But I feel like I never really looked into skincare, clothes. Like I never really purposefully looked there. So that's what I did. 
Okay, I'm in the kitchen. Ooh, this looks good, y'all. Mm-hmm. Hi guys, today I'm doing a Trader Joe's haul. I recently went to Trader Joe's to get some groceries. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I picked up at Trader Joe's. I love going there. I don't know, it's like a very millennial place to do groceries. So I will take a 20 minute drive to go to Trader Joe's and I love it. I did purchase some of my favorites that I love getting from Trader Joe's as well as some new products that I've never tried before and some brand new products to Trader Joe's in general. So hope you enjoyed the haul. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and let's get into it. All right guys, so this is everything. I'm gonna go one by one in each bag to show you guys what I got. So the first thing I have here is this sparkling pink lemonade. I thought it sounded really good. So yeah, just Trader Joe's lemonade. And this one has, this has 130 calories per serving. So next I got a bunch of greens. These are just for salad and I wanted variety. So this one is the power greens. I also got baby spinach. I got arugula. I got um, arugula, <laughs> and then I got kale. So these are all for salads. And also, oh, I have one more. Actually, actually, we have one more. This one is baby lettuce. So these are all just for salad. I like to have a variety in my salads. Also for salads or just a quick snack, I got these baby cucumbers. Then they taste really good. So I got those. Um, I got this. Then I got this. This is a new item from Trader Joe's. If you guys are familiar with Trader Joe's, you know they have the everything but the bagel seasoning. Now they have these nuts, which are um, almonds and cashews. I love almonds and cashews. I love the seasoning, so I thought these would be really good. So I'm going to try these out. I also got some lemons. I love having lemons on hand. I got some shrimp, um, shrimp stir fry. This is really good. It's a quick meal if you're like running and if you're in a hurry you don't have time and you want something really quick this is really good and it tastes this tastes really good sometimes i add teriyaki sauce to it to make it taste even better but yeah it's really good i also got just some broccoli and then i got some shredded carrots because a girl is lazy sometimes and i don't want to shred my own carrots so this is great for salads you can just easily take some and put it over your salad and you could be a thriving lazy girl okay <laughs> on to the second bag all right the first thing I have is this Italian salad dressing I've never seen this before I think it's new um, this is just Italian salad dressing and I thought I would try it out and um, it does have a ton of ingredients which is not good but hopefully it tastes good <laughs> so yeah we got this um, then I got some baby avocados. I've never seen these baby avocados before and I thought it would be really good. It's actually perfect because most times I waste avocado because I eat half of it and then I end up not eating the other half and it goes rotten. So this would be really good because these are really tiny. I got some blueberries. We go through blueberries really quickly in my house. So I got another um, carton of blueberries here. Also got some potatoes. I love these little potatoes. They're easy to cook and I like how they taste. And then I got some, uh, what are these? Then I got these cocktail tomatoes. I actually really like these. And for some reason, these last pretty long. I remember getting these in the winter, I think, and they lasted me really long. So I decided to get them again. I also got a few seasonings. I got this basil seasoning. I've never tried their basil. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. I also got garlic powder. Garlic powder is definitely a staple in my cooking, so I got a new garlic powder. This I've already had, but it's finished. I got everything but the bagel seasoning because mine is running low. I use this on everything, it tastes amazing. Then I got some smoked paprika. I've never tried Trader Joe's smoked paprika, so let's see. It's probably gonna taste like paprika taste, which is like nothing, but yeah. <laughs> also got some strawberries because another. this is another thing that we go through really quickly in my house. So we got some more strawberries. While I was walking around, I saw this and I could not resist it. It's a watermelon face mist, and I've never seen this before. I think it's new from Trader Joe's. It's just a face mist with watermelon and it's like hydra it's to hydrate and refresh your face. And I totally didn't need it, but I thought it would be really nice and cute. <laughs> I also got this 
rose oil ultra moisturizing hand cream the packaging really just sold me you guys like it looked so cute i don't even know what looks i don't even know what it looks like on the inside but the packaging was cute enough for me to buy it so i bought it <laughs> In this bag, the first thing I have here is these brioche toasts. I love these, they taste amazing. I usually eat those with hummus and it's a nice little snack if you're feeling hungry. I got these multi-grain slims. These are just little bread sandwiches and yeah, it's like 80 or 100 calories. Let me see. It's like 100 calories per for two. Yeah, it's 100 calories for both. Then I got some bagels. These are gluten-free everything bagels, and it's great. I like having bagels here and there because, you know, I'm from New York, you know. <laughs> just kidding <laughs> yeah I love bagels y'all anyways um these are good for breakfast and whatever whenever you want to eat them but everything everything bagel is definitely my favorite next I got this fresh Atlantic salmon this is just a salmon filet I need to put this in the freezer but this is really easy to cook and salmon is really good for you so got that I got these chili lime chicken burgers these are really good you guys I had them before I've gotten them like three or four times from Trader Joe's and they taste really good highly recommend these if you're looking for um, already like made burgers these are also really easy to make and really quick so I love these all right then I got these carrot spirals and I've heard a lot of good things about these but I never tried them so I'm gonna try these out um, probably tomorrow maybe or Saturday I don't know I'll probably try these out soon to let y'all know how it tastes but these are basically carrots that are made into spirals and I'm gonna try it with pasta um, well not with pasta I'm gonna try it with spaghetti sauce I've tried zucchini pasta before and I have a love-hate relationship with it but apparently these these are supposed to be better than zucchini pasta so I'm gonna try these out next I got these grilled chicken strips I love these I always get these at Trader Joe's I can never go to Trader Joe's and not pick these up because they are just so easy to put in a salad or a wrap or whatever you want to do on the go like if I'm in a hurry I love having these on hand I got two packs of these this should last me like two weeks got some vegetable broth I love having this in my pantry I can use this to cook chicken or whatever I want to cook it with yeah <laughs> you guys I'm sure y'all know enough about that all right then I got these mango and cream bars these taste delicious if you're looking for a good Trader Joe's snack that's um, frozen I definitely recommend these they taste amazing and there's also the raspberry kind but they were sold out of that one today so I had to get just the mango usually I get both of the but usually I get both the raspberry and the mango in this um, bar then I got some hummus this is the smooth and creamy road roasted. <laughs> this is this so this is the smooth and creamy roasted red pepper hummus this is the only hummus that I like so I had to get some hummus to eat with my I'm gonna use I'm gonna have this with the toast or even like a bagel or whatever but yeah usually I come I have usually I have this as a little snack got some celery so I can make seasoning and also juice with this uh, the last thing that I picked up is this grapefruit juice. This is 100% grapefruit juice from Trader Joe's. I try to literally drink the serving or less in these types of things. That way I don't consume too many calories from it and it lasts me a long longer. So, all right y'all, so this is my entire Trader Joe's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next. Let me know what you like to get at Trader Joe's so I can pick it up on my next trip. So, love you guys. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!